morning students in my previous lecture i have explained the first four lines of the poem mercy composed by william shakespeare now in this lecture i am going to explain the other lines of this poem mercy and at the end of this video i'll be giving the central idea of the poem as i told you in the previous lecture that the theme of this poem is being taken from the famous play the merchant of venice in which portia whose disguise as a doctor of law appears in the court on behalf of antonio and she tries to convince shylock to show mercy upon antonio and gives her impassioned speech in this play the poem mercy is the speech of portia in which she speaks about the quality of mercy now let us move towards our poem in the first four lines of the poem the poet says that the mercy is not enforced and it comes of its own it is the greatest attribute of a human heart and it comes down on earth like a gentle rain from heaven mercy is a kind of virtue and blesses both who gives it and who receives it the greater the man the better it suits him now in the next lines the poet is describing the king's authority the throne monarch better than his crown a king is known by his crown on his head and shows his authority to its people his sculpture shows the force of temporal power his sculpture sculpture is a rod which they carry in their hand to show the authority to its people now when we say that his sculpture shows the force of temporal power it means the royal rod which they carry in their hand is the sign of their power and people submit themselves before this power the attributes to awe and majesty the fear the authority of the king which he possesses but mercy is above this sculptured sway but according to the poet mercy is above this authority and if a king possesses mercy in his heart then it makes the king more powerful it is enthroned in the hearts of king it is said that it sits in the hearts of the king it is an attribute to god himself it is like the quality which the god possesses and if it is in the hearts of king then kings they become god like an early part doth then show likest gods when mercy seasons justice it is said that if the kings possess mercy in their heart and give their justice with this mercy then it shows this quality of mercy which is there in god is also comes down to kings if they possess the authority with the mercy in their heart when justice is softened by mercy the kings become godlike when mercy seasons justice it means when the mercy mixes with the justice of the king then it is the authority of the king and then king becomes the mightiest in this world in this poem the use of figure of his speech makes it more beautiful this is a beautiful poem written by shakespeare and shakespeare has 
describe this poem in a different manner and the use of figure of his speech makes it more beautiful the poet uses simile a figure of his speech when the poet compares mercy to the gentle rain it is given in the second line of your book it dropped as a gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath moreover there is a touch of hyperbole when he says for mercy the mightiest in the mightiest and finally he uses personification when he says for mercy enthroned in the hearts of king this is all about this uh, poem and now i am going to tell you the central idea of this poem the poem mercy is composed by william shakespeare this poem throws light on great qualities of mercy the poor the weak and sick people are miserable and they must be pitied if mercy is showered on them it soothes them like the drizzling rain in summer the poet describes mercy as a divine quality and the man who possesses it loved respected and worshiped more than a person who laden with the material possession as he has given the example of the king the earthly power becomes godlike when it gets mingled with mercy and justice the king becomes godlike if he gives his decision or the justice is softened by mercy and this is all for today's lecture thank you and keep watching Thank <laughs> you.